All right, what are we talking about today, Jess? Motivation. Motivation. Just doing it. Just do it. Back in the day, I did a, uh, a half marathon. And why I did it? I don't know. <laughs> my friend uh, from college, Kate, she kind of got me into it. One of my coaches uh, for basketball as well, she got me into it, asked if anyone, any one of us wanted to do it. So I just kind of went on a whim and did it. I had done 5Ks, tons of 5Ks prior to that. but never anything over 3.2 miles so for me that was a big um, step outside my comfort zone and just just did it didn't really train for it a whole lot should have not certain but were you scared to do it i was scared yeah i didn't know if i would survive i didn't know if i'd make it the entire time i thought i'd have to like you know stop or tap out but i did it did it in these really awful nike shoes the blue ones <laughs> Really running on paper, but I finished. It was, it was a good time. I don't think I'll ever do one again, though. Do you think you would have uh, regretted not doing it if your friends signed you up? Do you regret doing it? No. You don't regret doing it. I think like there's everyone's got bucket list items. It's always something that's on someone's bucket list. Um, there will never be a full marathon on my bucket list, but um, it's not something I regretted. I'm glad I did it. See what kind of ability levels I had and. You know, being in college, not having the best nutrition and you know best fluid habits. <laughs> fluid habits. Um, That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> drinking beer and things like that. Um, I'd be curious to see how I would do today, having not had that stuff, and definitely changing my nutrition a whole lot. Um, I might you know do one down the road, but I think it'd be cool to see. Snowboarding. I went snowboarding with Mike. A couple years ago, and I hadn't gone since fifth grade. I was in ski club in fifth grade. So I was really nervous. He, he wanted to go, and I was like, yeah, let's do it. Like, I know how to snowboard. But I was super nervous to, to get back up and being a pansy, trying to avoid hurting myself. I didn't need any of the wrist gear that my mom used to make me wear, but <laughs> that, was, that was something that, you know, I was like, all right, let's just do it, see how it goes. You did fall a lot, though. Are you sure you didn't need the wrist gear? <laughs> I think probably one of the biggest things that I did in, in my life was going to uh, was uh, going to college out in uh, Chicago. So when I graduated high school or when I was getting ready to graduate, I was looking at schools and like, of course, my mom wanted me to stay close by, and so of course I wanted to go as far away as possible. <laughs> <laughs> so we went out and we visited a school, and it was like perfect situation. Had the right major, had a nice downtown area, and they had football and so I think that's a time where I was like super nervous but it was just like got nothing to lose like I, I didn't know anybody there um, didn't know any didn't have any friends or anybody that was going there didn't have any family out there it was just like I'm just gonna do it and I just kind of like picked up and left and drove 12 hours and and that was it it was a huge huge you know looking back now it seems like something kind of small you know it's like oh yeah you got to go to school somewhere but if I didn't just kind of like suck it up and just do it and like take that first step, um, you know, my life would be drastically different today because uh, that's, you know, obviously I went to school, I went, I got the, the major that I got, I co played football, I coached football, and a lot of that stuff kind of led me back home where I coached football for a year and I was in a school and then I, while I was doing that, I found CrossFit and then one thing led to another and, you know, now I'm here and uh, so point of, point of my story is that if I didn't just kind of like step in and just go for it, um, I would probably, life would be a lot different today. I wouldn't be in this gym, wouldn't have met Jess, like, you know, everything would be so pretty, everything would be pretty much different. So 
I guess I guess what I'm trying to get at is you don't really know what is going to happen when you take those steps or those those uh, you know that leap of faith, so to speak. But um, but you'll never know unless you do it, right? Yeah. You wouldn't like have known. Every, everything you do that you haven't done before is going to be scary the first time. So you might as well just do it, try it out. If it doesn't work out, go back to what you were doing before. You know, it's, there's no point in living in comfort when you can see you know, the other possibilities and different adventures life could take you on. Something else, Johnny, that I did that I wasn't ready for was I, uh, when I was in college, one of my friends told me that I should try throwing the javelin, and I'd never thrown it before. And this was my senior year. I just got done playing football, and it was like end of winter, like early spring, and they're like, yeah, you should try throwing this thing. And I was like, okay, so I threw it. And they're like, you should go talk to the coach and sign up. And I was like, uh, like practice has already started. Like, what are you talking about? And, they were like, no, yeah, you should just do it. And I was like, uh, okay, like, what do I have to lose? So I went and talked to the coach. And then the next thing you know, like four weeks later, I was at Nationals for javelin. So that's pretty cool. Just like fitness, it's just like nutrition, it's just like anything else. Like, you don't know what the hell's gonna happen. You've never done it before, you've never tried it before, but lots and lots of people here at our gym like have never even exercised before, other than you know what they consider exercise, which would be you know like a walk around the block or you know, I did some machines at, at goals and then all of a sudden they come in and they try it and you know three years later they are you know they're twice as strong as they used to be or they're 40 pounds lighter than they used to be or you know whatever their life has completely changed so I think we all kind of live in that world where we're not really sure what's going to happen but you don't really know until until you try it so I think our our fitness life is very similar to that you know you don't know what's gonna you know what could happen unless you try and then the worst thing in the world is not trying, I think, and just sitting there and wondering what could have happened or could have been if you did try. And even, you know, from the, you can, you can kind of see that from uh, the most beginner end of the spectrum, you know, like people that come in and they're, you know, 50, 60 pounds overweight and they need to, they need to get themselves in shape and all of a sudden, you know, they decide not to try it and you see them a year later, two years later, and they still look exactly the same. Um, or you can see that up on the higher end, people that you know want to train for something competitively, whether that's marathons or that's CrossFit or whatever, and um, you know they're they're afraid to try because they you know it's like what if I fail? And that's I think that's like one of the biggest fears that people have is they're afraid to try something new because they're afraid to fail at it. So like you know use Jess's example, like if she was you know, if she had a time that she wanted to run that half marathon in or like she wanted to qualify for something or whatever and she was like afraid of failing and she just never did it and she would just live the rest of her life like, you know, I wonder what could have happened if I did try. If I don't do this, then I'm just gonna have to sit here and live with the regret of like, maybe I could have been really good or maybe I could have whatever, you know, I could have lost, you know, that weight or whatever. Um, I think that's something that scares a lot of people and it's hard to wrap your mind around. It's just the fear of failure. And for some people, it's just the fear of like even being judged. The fear of people knowing that you're trying something new stops people from trying something new, you know? So if you, once someone declares, hey, I'm going to lose weight or I'm going to run a Spartan or I'm going to run a marathon, then it's like, then it becomes real. And now everyone knows that you're doing it. So now you have no choice but to push forward. And I think a lot of people struggle with that. They're afraid to take that first step and actually make that declaration because then they've got to follow it through or they look like a quitter, just as yawning. Apparently this is, uh, apparently this is not interesting. What do you think, Blair?